Hobby Lobby. Going to pick up my workout uniform <laughs> that I'm going to wear for my, what I like to wear when I work out. All right, so just left the store and got myself. These are probably the best shirts I've ever worn when it comes to just working out. It's not a tank top, it's a regular t-shirt, but I have to say they are the most comfortable shirts ever. That I have ever worn. Very minimal, very comfortable, very fitting. Uh, definitely recommend if that's your style of lifting weights. When you're lifting weights and you're at the gym, or just in general, really, just feel really comfortable with no designs. Hobby Lobby. Okay, now I'm heading over to EOS on. Silverado. Probably ever since they closed the gym that I usually go to to open up this gym. It's been quite difficult to find a place for a designated leg day. St. Rose is too crowded and I'm not really a fan of the layout. Uh, other places are just like, you know, okay. But the only thing, yeah, the good one about this one is that it has gym bags, punching bags. And I get to do a little bit of cardio at the end of my workout. You know, do a little, you know, boxing cardio. So that's probably the plus side about this one. Why I kind of gravitate towards this gym when it comes to leg day. I would say, yeah, probably most of the EOS gyms aren't very compatible when it comes, for me personally, when, when it comes to leg day. But this gym makes up for it with the punching bags. So I'm heading over to this gym EOS for leg day and then you know I'm just gonna go do a little cardio at the end. So yeah. Get to try on this Google. Get to try on the new uh, the new purchases. So excited for that. To, uh, you know, to add to it. I already gave out one advice, you know, in the beginning of the video. You know, if I can go back in time, what would I do differently? So, gotta wait for the next video to
my boxing and be better at that more. I also love the lifting aspect. I love lifting weights. But as far as just having leg day, I'm not trying to have crazy Tom Platt's legs. And yeah, I was having some fun with, uh, you know, my forearms, you know, pull-ups. I did my core, I did my twist on my, my side dips on the core. I really like that feeling of just, you know, having my body bend that way and having a strong core to complement that. Yeah, and then, you know, I did my leg extensions, hamstrings, seated hamstrings, keeping it very, very basic. I'm not trying to do anything too fancy. I might throw in a sissy squat here and there, but I'm just more focused on strong compound movements. So I'm probably gonna do mostly, I'm gonna stick to squats, front squats maybe. Definitely zerker squats. Because there's just a lot of benefits that I, you know, I like how my body feels when I do a lot of zerker squats for strength. So when I'm doing leg day, it's mostly just for strength, not for muscle building. And then finish it off with some boxing cardio, which was, you know, felt really good. Boxing is fun for me. You know, I'm not really just trying to keep it, keep it interesting, keeping my training interesting. I don't want to just do the same thing every day and have a boring routine. You know, eventually. I just do the same thing, which is good. I see a lot of results that way, but also it does get a little bit mentally taxing when it's just the same thing. And so, yeah, the boxing was cool. I was having fun with that. And yeah, overall, just had a really, had a you know, phenomenal leg day. So yeah, that concludes my lower body gym session.